hi Gemini it's Elle here to do a love reading um in this love reading we're going to ask four questions um what is your person feeling toward you how do you feel towards your person and the advice for you uh dealing with this uh specific person that you're coming to the reading for and the potential outcome if you take the advice of the cards okay so let's go ahead and jump into it i hope that you all are well um do like share comment subscribe to the channel all right so let's see what your person is feeling toward you what are they feeling what is gemini's person feeling okay we've got two cards All right, let's see what they're feeling towards you okay the queen of cups the death card and the page of pentacles so your person could be feeling like they're very in love with you or they're ready to give their cup um there could be where an old way of dealing with each other is is dying and there's a new start here or there's an apology there is um you guys are both learning each other um this could be a fairly new uh relationship someone is um falling in love their feelings toward you how they feel about you is that they're falling in love with you it's changing them the change is happening through the learning you or, or vice versa them learning you or you learning them but it, it's happening in a very foundational way it's something that you guys can both uh you both can grow this your person could be feeling like they um that they can have stability with you like there's an ending of an old way maybe an ending of um if someone was single ending of being single now it's it's turning into a commitment, a committed relationship, or at least someone is thinking about thinking about the idea of commitment. Let's see how you feel about them. Okay, the five of cups, all right. The magician and the sun. Okay. So you feel like if you can work your magic on them, then you can you can have them back. There might be distance. Someone is feeling like, okay, we can reconcile, we can work on this because they feel like this was a loss. How you feel about them is they're very, um, they have a way with their words that um, this is a, uh, this new friendship or partnership relationship is going to bring a lot of abundance and um, dreams are coming to fruition with this person. You feel like you manifest this person or, or they feel like you manifest them. Yeah. Somebody has to let go of either some hurt, some regret, some, some grief. Or maybe even another relationship so that they can be all in with you you feel like this person needs to let go they need to take to the idea of being in a committed relationship I'm hearing it's not that bad I don't know what I don't know if you guys have had the conversation or you you understand their sentiments toward re committed relationships I guess Okay, let's see what the advice is for you, Gemini, dealing with this person. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups. 
the Empress. Wow. Um, you're ready. You're ready for a commitment. You've done all the work. You're at a place in your life where it can happen. Um, I think you've already analyzed and gone over in your head um, the pros and the cons of being with this person, how it feels right, how you feel like there's a sense of um, equality or duty, or, or not even a duty, but a sense of, of belonging. Um, You feel like this person is just a good person. It's a good relationship. Uh, they could be a soulmate. You feel like home. Like you know them. Um, it says that. The advice for you is to know that this is your soulmate. And that you're creating. Um, a very abundant relationship. You're starting something new with this person. And it's going to be very fruitful. Um, it's going to bring a lot of abundance. If you allow the creation process to continue. If the other person allows it to continue, okay? Um, let's see what the potential outcome is here. What's the potential outcome for Gemini and their person? The Eight of Wands. Things will move quick. They'll be... You guys can move in together. Talks. I mean, like, you guys have a lot of communication. Maybe it's a lot of texting. The Four of Cups. Don't miss the opportunity. See the possibilities, okay? Talk through the jealousy and the problems, if there are any. And you could be dealing with a cancer, or you have cancer in your chart. But see the possibilities. Um, see uh, what is being offered to you. Um, there may be an offer made or talks of an offer. Uh, it doesn't excite you. Or doesn't excite the other person. What's the outcome? The Ten of Cups. So if you are bored now. If you are discontent with your life now. It says that things could move up. Potentially if you take the advice of the cards. And understand that you're ready for true commitment. You're ready to have a soulmate. You're ready to continue the creation process. You What comes out on the other end is the Ten of Cups. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, wow. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. This is a successful union. This is a successful relationship. There is the exchange happening. Um, there's a partnership. Um, you could be dealing with the Taurus. You don't have to be. Um, this, this is just... A mutually beneficial relationship and you're seeing that and the other person is seeing that let's get some additional advice it's about what you do habitually to continue creating a very abundant relationship what you do on an everyday basis um, let it not be argued uh, be frustrated or cause frustration but let it be that you guys are both communicating um, loving communication what is that? Uh, the arrows of love. Um, let it be that. Because you're then resting in the creation process. In the three. That's about what you create. So hopefully you guys can continue to create some happiness. Some abundance here. Um, it looks a very good reading. Let's see what your additional advice is. Okay, these cards just pull out. I'll take them. It says ask others for help. If you have questions, maybe you can ask the opposite sex, same sex, or someone's married or committed. Not the right time. We have a no answer. And we have choose a new direction. And the situation will improve. Okay. So let's see what this no answer is. What is this no answer for Gemini? What's this no answer for Gemini? No, you guys don't want to rest in stagnation and delays. If it can happen, then it can happen. Don't get too caught up in that. It says no. Yeah, it says no. No 
getting caught up in delays and and being stagnant and stuck and letting things happen around you if you don't want the relationship walk away but if you do make long-term plans toward the future maybe with this person or if you don't want the person make it without them okay um the four of cups again if you don't want this person turn the offer down king of swords yeah choose yourself put yourself first king of uh king of cups yeah the chariot could be done with the cancer says no don't don't look at things from a different perspective continuously continue making plans for you and your future you may have to turn down an offer uh, you may have to rest in that king of swords energy um and just know what is for you is for you what is true is true and what is everything else will fall in place because uh, the king of swords that energy isn't doing much uh, they're not doing the arguing they're not doing ne the negotiation they know what they know they rest in the energy of if i said what i said i meant it and i'm not going back on it because i know that my judgment is fair and and just is true okay so you might have to be that way you know there's no going back and forth put yourself first the six of wands you may be getting a lot of attention also uh eventually when we can be out um king of cups it, it, someone may be hiding their feelings but you know how they feel or vice versa someone knows how you feel about them you could be dealing with the libra the sun card a leo and a cancer here um it says remain emotionally balanced because someone will try to tip the scale and make you become unbalanced in this newfound uh, judgment that you're rendering on a relationship a person place or thing it says that spirit is with you and that some new relationship or person will come to you and, and this will bring a lot of um a lot of your dreams come true manifestation of your dreams and you can move forward uh victoriously a beneficial change is coming or is here for you okay uh you you either can't be stagnant and wait wait for it you gotta know what it is and and move on it or for some of you this is about moving on and putting yourself first okay so um gemini if this reading resonated with you go over to the website book your reading there thank you take care many blessings to you also if you have a question you can text the number below um paper your question on your mobile device receive the answer via text on your mobile device it just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me thank you take care many blessings